Welcome to the another episode of STEM Education Boys and Girls School of Boston area. As we know, STEM is related to engineering as well. And one of the key component, one of the uh, key branch of engineering is civil engineering. And within the civil engineering, you know, we, we deal with the different kind of materials, we deal with the construction. And one of the key component, ingredient of construction is stones, rocks. Today we are going to learn how these different kind of rocks are formed. Actually, we have been on the side outside for hilly area. So you know, on the hill, so from hill you find a very hard rocks over there. And from that hard rocks that is naturally built on earth, but disintegrates and forms such kind of similar rocks, stones, which we use in our daily life construction and some strengthening material as well. Like even in the cement, these rocks are being involved. So today, we are just going to learn one of the, this is a series. I will make all three to videos, uh, three to four videos on this, how these rocks are formed and how these travel from one place to another place. So the first episode, let's see how these are rock formed. These rocks form in a different ways. Today we are going to learn in a one way, that is these are being, 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 being formed through the nature process, nature disintegration process. And one of the key component is water, or, in the, or water in the shape of frame. If you find this is a huge rock, let's suppose this is a huge rock, this is a huge uh, uh, hill. So what happens, one of, one of the key components through it integrates is through the participation of rain. Once if you feel, if rain falls, rain, please zoom here, rain, penetrates inside their leakage their areas. Once these leaks, this, through this rainfalls like this one, this penetrates and this go to start integrate, disintegration by the time. And then these similar components do disintegrate and we get some larger rocks into that. And finally, through this one, this reintegrates into the smaller like this one, this one, and even at the site in hilly areas, once this is integration into a bigger, then crushing companies, crushers, they do get involved, and through that crushing plants, these are further formed into a smaller rocks, which are being used in different kind of construction like bridges, homes, concrete, so these rocks are strong enough and that gives a very good strength to our structures, our homes, our buildings, even the bridges where trains or some heavy materials, heavy equipment goes through this one. So this is one way how these rocks are formed. This is one of the episodes of this one. I hope you like, you understood how these rocks are formed. Thank you so much.